I'm Suzanne Ridgway from Let Us Eat. This is going to be a pantry makeover. I've done this a few times before, but nothing seems to be working for me. So I've been watching videos on YouTube to try to see if I can better assess my situation and why things are not staying tidy other than my family, like my husband and youngest, not putting things back where they belong. I try to do bins, and instead of keeping everything, all one product, or like items, they just pile everything in them. So I'm going to be taking everything off my shelves, and I'm going to downsize at least 50% of everything on my shelves, and declutter, and I'd like to put shelves in another part of the kitchen, or the house to make them more useful and utilize them better and eventually not have anything directly in front except for maybe tall things like my vinegar that I buy bulk in and our oil for the deep fryer. I don't have any storage for pots and pans too much for the big things. I usually kind of hide them here but obviously it's not working for me and I'd like to try to Utilize this space better where my Keurig is and our toaster and get that a little more user friendly and just kind of clean up and get ready for the holidays coming to make cooking easier. And I'm also going to attempt this closet one more time. I've gone through this many times. I've even put organizers in it. And this is how some of my family members, like I mentioned, my husband and youngest, they just put things away arbitrarily and don't put them away where they belong. And it ends up looking like this. I'm sure we all have that one Monica closet. I am starting my pantry this morning. And I moved some of the floor to the other room onto my table. I'm going to finish removing this. And then I'm going to take everything off this first shelf. And this is going to go into the bathroom. I measured yesterday. It should fit. The first shelf is half done. And I'm going to be doing a complete sweep and mop in here once the shelf is completely out of the room. I have my second shelf still standing. I'm going to start taking everything off of that and I'm going to take everything out of the bins and dump them out and replace them if I need to. My other shelf is in the dining room and I have everything packed on the table and Everything on this chair so far is going to be sent to my in-laws church for donation files. I'm going to continue to go through the canned goods on both my shelves. And I'm going to take all my small cooking ware like my other crock pot. I'm going to find better places to store them. Everything is away from the door that goes to the storage area and the wall. I'm going to do a quick sweep and a light mop and I'm going to use the swippers on the walls there to give them a nice clean shine and I'm going to put back one of the shelves and I'm going to redo the entire area here. I took everything out of this space in the bathroom and I washed it down and I took the wood crate off the vent and I wiped it down and got everything in it that fell over the years and I did a quick wipe down on the wall and the floor in front of it. I didn't want to show it before but it was pretty scary. I'm going to put the metal rack in. It should fit because I did measure yesterday. The metal, the metal shelf did not fit into the bathroom so it's back out into the dining room which will probably go into my teens room but I have everything back up on the shelf and I downsized quite a bit and I have a huge donation pile, which is going to go to the shelters and everything. 
Again, I rent, so my bathroom isn't all that, and I apologize in advance. It's as clean as it's going to get. I have downsized my pantry shelf over 50%, and this is what it looks like now with stuff that we use on a daily basis. And the bins, I have the ramens and the mac and cheese in one popcorn in one, and all the quick grab-and-go snacks in another. And I did these Pepsi can storage holders for soups and mixed vegetables and other canned goods. I'm using a mug shelf to maximize my space. And I have on the bottom some of my potatoes, onions, my other crock pot, and some Bakingware on the very bottom underneath and easy access to my butter spray, cooking oil, bisquick, and other baking needs. And my knives are in the back. My countertop with the toaster and Keurig. I'll put my utensils behind it for the stove. The stove is going to get decluttered. I'm going to get rid of what we don't use anymore. If you like my video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos of my organizing and cooking and grocery hauls and more of me and my family, please subscribe and have a great day.